Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel English Literature Reviews. Today I am going to give you a quick overview of the Anglo-Saxon period or the Old English period. The Angels and Saxons were two tribes. Actually these tribes were very fearless, adventurous and brave. And during the later years of Roman occupation of Britain, they kept the British coast in terror. Though much of this Anglo-Saxon poetry is lost, there are still some fragments left. For example, Witset describes continental courts visited in imagination by a far wandering poet. Voltaire tells how Walter of Aquitaine withstood a host of foes. Complaint of Dover describes the disappointment of a lover. The most important poem in this period is Beowulf. It is the tale of adventures of Beowulf who is a champion and slayer of monsters. After the Anglo-Saxons embraced Christianity, the poets took up religious themes. In fact, a major portion of Anglo-Saxon poetry is religious. The two important religious poets of Anglo-Saxon period were Catman and Cinewulf. Catman sang in the series of the whole story of fate of man from creation and fall to the redemption and the last judgment and within the large framework the scripture history. Cinewulf's most important poem is the Christ, the matrical narrative of the leading events of Christ's ministry upon earth, including his return to the judgment which is treated with much grandeur. Anglo-Saxon poetry is markedly different from the poetry of next period, Middle English or Anglo-Norman period, for it deals with the tradition of an older world and expresses another temperament and way of living. It breathes the influence of the wind and storm. It is the poetry of stern and passionate people concerned with the primal things of life, moody, melancholy and fierce, yet with great capacity for endurance and fidelity. The Anglo-Saxon period was also marked by the beginning of English prose, though the chronicles which probably began in the Alfred time, Alfred's translation from the Latin, a common uh, available prose was established. The tendency of the Anglo-Saxon prose is towards observance uh, of the rules of ordinary speech. That is why the one has to make a considerable effort in order to read the words of Anglo-Saxons. The angels and Saxons first landed in England in the middle of 50, 5th century and by 670 AD. As it had been made clear that uh, you, you know literature of any country in any period is the reflection of that uh, period of life, the angels and Saxons combined in themselves the opposing traits of characters, savagery and sentiment, rough living and deep feeling, splendid courage and deep melancholy resulted from thinking about unanswered problem of death. They, they actually followed in their life five great principles of love, of personal freedom, responsiveness to nature, religion, love for womanhood and struggle for glory. Thus, if we read some lines of Beowulf, we can realize this thing. Music and song were the heroes sad. The glee would rank a song a prose. When Hartker's scope gave all the good cheer. The Anglo-Saxon's language is only a branch of great Aryan or Indo-European family of languages. It has the same root of words for father and mother, 
for God and man, for the common needs and common relations of life, as we find in Sanskrit, Iranian, Greek and Latin. So I hope you understand what is uh, what is the Anglo-Saxon uh, literature, what was uh, its nature and why it called Anglo-Saxon and what was its characteristics. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like it and share it. Thank you.